this video, we will show you how to install the ridge of your polytunnel. Here are the parts you'll need. Your ridge will be supplied in pieces of tube which slot together. There is one 50cm piece which is plain on one end and swaged on the opposite end. The remaining pieces are 1.57 meters long and are plain on one end and swaged on the opposite end. Slot the swaged end of the short piece into the plain end of the long piece and secure using a self-drilling screw with the provided driver socket, 4 cm from the joint. This piece will be fixed in position using ridge clamps. Position a ridge clamp on the first and second hoop centrally on the apex. On the end hoop, ensure the threaded section of the clamp is to the inside of the polytunnel. Slide the ridge tube through both ridge clamps, ensuring the plain end is on the end hoop. Firmly tighten the end clamp with the plain end of the ridge tube, protruding as little as possible through the ridge clamp. Ensure the hoops are vertical. The end hoops have been set vertical when fitting the corner stabilizer. Visually adjust the intermediate hoops so they look vertical and tighten the ridge clamp. Work along, adding sections of ridge tube and securing to the hoops using ridge clamps. Secure the two tubes together using a self-drilling screw 4cm from the joint. Ensure that all intermediate hoops are vertical and tighten the ridge clamp. The final ridge tube will exceed the length of your structure. You will be required to trim the tube so it is protruding as little as possible through the ridge clamp. The ends will be sharp. Protective tape will be applied at a later stage. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.